Hello everyone, in this video, you'll learn more about radiation. At the end of this video, you should be able to explain that energy transfer of a body by radiation does not require a material medium, which means to say it can occur in vacuum. And the rate of this energy transfer is affected by color and texture of the surface, surface temperature, and surface area. Radiation is the transfer of thermal energy in the form of electromagnetic waves, such as infrared radiation. Thermal energy is being transferred via radiation from the hotter object to the cooler object by electromagnetic waves. Radiation can occur in vacuum because electromagnetic waves can travel through vacuum. Objects that emit radiation are called emitters, while objects that absorb radiation are called absorbers. When we talk about the rate of emission, we are talking about how much radiation an object gives out in one second. There are three factors that will affect the rate of emission. I will go through each of them in the remaining part of this video. Surface area. The larger the surface area of the object, the larger the rate of emission of radiation by the object. For example, the teapot on the right has a larger surface area than the one on the left. Hence, the teapot on the right emits more radiation for each second. Surface temperature. The higher the temperature of the object relative to its surrounding, the larger the rate of emission of radiation by this object. For example, the teapot on the left has a higher surface temperature than the one on the right. Hence, the teapot on the left emits more radiation for each second. color and texture of the surface. Dull black surfaces are good emitters of radiation, while shiny surfaces are poor emitters of radiation. A surface is dull because it is rough, while a surface is shiny because it is smooth. Note that black surfaces are better emitters of radiation than white surfaces. Interestingly, Good emitters of radiation are also good absorbers of radiation. For example, black surfaces are better emitters than white surfaces. Lastly, objects may not only absorb incoming radiation, they may also reflect some radiation. Hence, poor absorbers of radiation are actually good ray reflectors of radiation. Poor absorbers do not absorb much incoming radiation. Instead, they reflect most away. And yes, shiny surfaces are better reflectors than dull black surfaces. Before we end, please look at the learning objective again. Do you know why radiation can occur in vacuum? How does color and texture of the surface, surface temperature, and surface area affects the rate of emission or absorption of radiation? That's all for radiation. Thank you for your attention.